Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna look at cartridge filters and how we incorporate them into our DIY hot tubs. Let's go ahead and take a look. Being able to filter our hot tubs is really important because let's face it, nobody wants to get into a tub that's got lots of bits all over it. Now there's two main different types of filter. One is a sand filter, which you may have heard of. They're normally found on much larger pools and swimming pools. Um, they're more suited to filtering large bodies of water, whereas on a hot tub or a, a smaller cocktail pool or spool, you'll find that cartridge filters are more suited to that particular job. So this is a cartridge filter. Uh, this is a, a, a top-loading model by Waterway. And uh, this is, you know, if one can have one, uh, this is my, my favorite cartridge filter at the moment that I'm using in a lot of my builds. So let's take a look at the anatomy of a cartridge filter. Well, firstly, we've got a, uh, a locking nut here. This is more for the, the, the plastic tubs where the, the filter will actually slot in and it will then uh, be secured in place with this locking nut. For our DIY builds on our concrete or our block build tubs, we don't actually need this uh, particular part. The filter itself does have a direction of flow. Too small to see on the camera, but you will find either an arrow or it will have in and out marked on the, uh, on the filter itself. This particular filter has uh, two inch sockets. Some of the other filters have union nuts, which you can screw into place. I like this particular setup because you can glue it in with that pipe cement, have it in place, and once it's in, it's there and it's, uh, it's not gonna leak. The unit as well, this particular model, has a, uh, a flow bypass valve. So what that means is when the water is on high flow or your jets are, are, are running, it's not filtering through the cartridge. And this is to make sure that the flow isn't interrupted uh, on the jets. So it's also really important why you've got to put it in the, the right way so that the, uh, the flow gate can actually open inside of the, uh, of the filter. Filters themselves are sized for the particular size of your hot tub or the body of water. Now for most pools, cocktail spools, um, you're looking at about 50 square foot filter, which is this model. And you'll find that on the, the, the actual plastic housings, there's normally a marking because uh, a lot of the housings are common across the range for the different size. So 50 square feet is the most common that you'll use in your DIY hot tubs. I particularly like the top loading filters because it's really easy to change the, the cartridge. So the first thing that we need to do is actually unscrew the, the top locking nut here. And we're gonna remove that. Next, we're actually gonna take the top off. Now I've removed this in advance because it's quite tight. And obviously, because you don't want it to leak uh, under pressure. So once we remove the top, we've then got access to the filter. So now I can simply slide the filter up and I can remove it from the system. Really, really easy. So I can remove it for cleaning or I can remove it to actually change the filter when it's uh, time to do that as well. Incorporating the filter into our plumbing layouts is pretty straightforward. Uh, you can see behind me exactly where the filter sits um, in, the, in the order of things. So we have the water being drawn from the hot tub. It goes into the inlet on the pump, out of the pump, through the filter, into the spa pack or the heater, and then back out into the tub. So it's really straightforward. Hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. I'll see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. See you on the next video.